peace we take our brother to this place of rest. Elwin was a, a man that I can see who, huh, he, he loved his community, you know, he, he, he was a fireman besides being a veteran in World War II. Almost every day he would come and uh, sit outside of our office and read his newspaper and uh, so I would always go out and see if he wanted a cup of coffee or anything to drink and uh, our friendships developed right there. He always would bring a smile to anyone's face, you know. He, regardless of whether I was walking down the street to go to a meeting or whatnot, he would be right there um, reading his paper or saying hi to somebody, you know, in a local store, whether it was the Riverbend or the girls at the bank. I don't think there was many people on Genesee Street that didn't know Elwin. When I met Elwin, in 1992. He was a very quiet, unassuming man, very uh, much to himself and wouldn't talk an awful lot. He was very proud of his World War II service, very proud of his Korean service, but that's all you could get out of him. He didn't want to talk about it. He didn't want to be praised for it. He didn't want to be remembered for it. He just did what any man or woman would have done in that time in our history when we needed men and women in the service. Elwin reminded me of my uncle with his hair and he was thin and just his mannerisms. And uh, so um, I decided that he would be my special veteran around town. So um, he asked me not long after I met him, uh, they were gonna have a dance at the Episcopal Church on Valentine's and he said if I come and get you would you come to the dance with me and I said absolutely not but if I come and get you <laughs> I'll take you to the dance so I picked him up at his house and he wasn't ready because he thought I was joking so we went to the dance and um, Owen danced every single dance and I had worked all day and I was really tired that night so I thought we could surely rest a few, but no, Elwin, we had to dance every single dance. And I was so tired when I left there, and, and he was so happy. And I felt so good about doing that with him, because I thought to myself, I ne you never know when that will be your last Valentine's or your last time to do that. He was always asking about other people, you know, and he was always visiting people around town. Um, I met a lady at Wagman's on, tonight, and she said, uh, oh yeah, I, I knew him, he used to come in here all the time, you know, and, and that's the reaction I get from other people is, uh, but he would ask them about them. That was his greatness. I'm gonna miss his smile. I'm gonna miss his smile and just the, the warm heartedness of his personality and his friendship. He really, really was, you know, the way I explained it when I, I uh, saw his obituary in the newspaper to a friend was, you know, I, I meet people every single day, but there's very few people who make an impact on your life. And Elwin was one of those people. He's somebody that 
no matter how old I get, I'll never forget them. So that's that's how it went.